YouTube, it's me, Tiffany. I'm just here to do a quick update. I'm sorry that I didn't end up updating last cycle. Uh, AF came early, so there was no sense in doing the live pregnancy test I said I was going to do. Um, and I was going to update earlier this cycle, but I kept leaving my camera at work, and my webcam has really poor quality. I did do a really long video on there, but it was such poor quality, I just didn't upload it. Um, not like this is so much, and it's not much better, but it is better than the webcam. So, um, anyways, there's nothing really to update on except for I'm cycle day 9 now, and we will be inseminating later this week. We will, we decided to do cycle day 12, 13, 14, and 15 to make sure that we didn't miss ovulation. And then I have my doctor's appointment the 30th, um, to just make sure everything's okay, because this is our fifth cycle trying, a fourth with the same dinner. Um, and then if everything checks out with me, then we will um, make sure everything checks out with the dinner and whatnot. But, yeah, everything seems to be doing, you know, whatever. Um, I am still taking the Fertilade. I don't know that I'm going to buy it again. Uh, we've been really busy with planning the wedding for next June, and I've been really busy at work. But I just... I don't know if I want to buy it again. I don't know that it's done much for me. Um, so I don't know if it's worth the cost. I might go ahead and get a couple more months and just see where it goes. But, you know, we'll just kind of see after this cycle. This cycle we'll be using um, pre-seed again, the uh, Fertilade I'll still continue to take. And we did get a kit from Insemination Supplies. Usually we just use the Instead Cup, but this time we decided to go ahead and get the Speculum and the um, Syringe and what else is in that kit? The Specimen Cup? I don't know. Whatever comes in that, and we'll, we'll use that this cycle. Um, and like I said, we'll be doing it cycle day 12 through 15, so hopefully we'll catch it. And I am going to continue taking OPKs throughout the rest of my cycle because I get like a weird... Like, I start cramping a week before my period, I always have, and I never really get ovulation cramps when it says that, when I get my first positive, like when I should be ovulating. So I've kind of been wondering if I'm ovulating the week before AF comes, the week after I've been inseminating all this time, and that's why it hasn't worked. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to go ahead and continue taking my OPKs even after um, I get my first positive. I'm just going to keep doing them throughout my cycle just to kind of see what happens. And we did decide that if I get another positive, we will go ahead and inseminate then, even though I don't think my luteal phase will be long enough to implant. But we will go ahead and do that. And I did start temping on cycle day one this time. Usually I don't start until like cycle day eight. But we decided this time I'll get a complete cycle um, of temps starting at cycle day 8 all the way through my cycle for OPKs and using the Fertilade, um, the Pre-Seed, and the insemination kit. And then um, we'll be going to my doctor this month to the OBGYN um, and kind of go from there for next cycle. Um, I think that's about it that I have to update on for now. I will let you know after I inseminate how that went and kind of keep you updated on if I do get that second positive OPK when I am getting that cramping um, a week before AF and whatnot. So I'll just kind of try to keep you updated. I have been really busy and so it's been hard to do videos but I will try really hard this cycle to keep it updated because I kind of want to see what happens since I'm doing so much tracking this cycle. Kind of compare it later on if it doesn't work. But hopefully this is our cycle and we won't have to worry about all that. But um, Anyways, baby dust to everyone who's trying, and um, good luck, fingers crossed, and all that good stuff, and I will update soon. Thanks for watching.